The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room, and we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. How does the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away? This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. slant route to Thomas and up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down 10 yards good for his Saints first down and we see the emphasis early here get your star receiver involved able to do it successfully not a bad start to begin with that's for sure and to me this play says our guy is better than your guys up because you know a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. But you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Ready? 95, 56, under. Easy. On third down, Murray. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and 10. First down, Saints. Ready. Yellow lady, yellow lady. 54, right, 54. Who that? Who that? Again, this is Kamara. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. Gets a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll try to right side with Murray. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. You ready? Hey, kill, kill! Kill, kill! Check it back, check it back. Hey, easy! Here we go, here we go. Mike 54. I'm trying to collect. Hey, easy! 54, Mike. Check, check. Come on! They'll run here. It's Murray. And it's just, it's just, it's just Latavius Murray! Touchdown, New Orleans! Latavius Murray, 45 yards, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. So they start this game just like they won. Opening drive, touchdown, a nice run there to finish it off. Yeah, that's what we call an explosive run because of the distance. And being able to do that, that puts a little uncertainty in the minds of your opponent. Lutz with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. 
This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll run for the first time here with Matt Breida. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Second and six, just inside the 30. Hey, he now it's Breda. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. 21, 21. Here we go. That's a game of five. One, Omaha. Third and one. Switch, switch, switch. Two, two, two. Garoppolo to throw on third and one. And that is incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They'll run with a fullback. Use check. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. This is Breda, and he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. On second and 11 now. Garoppolo is going to float it, and this is caught, and he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Marquise Goodwin, 36 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And for back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. Here's a second and two now from the 33. And that's going to be incomplete. 
A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. And that's knocked away and incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They're going to run it with Murray. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Oh, on the defensive side, that is so deflating. Not only is it deflating, they've got to look in each other's eyes on that side of the ball and take each other's measure. You've got them backed up, perfect situation. And what they said to you on the other side is, we don't think you can stop us. Went ahead and got it in that position. That should never happen. They go back to Murray on first down. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Second down six at the 39-yard line. Ready? 95-56. These two teams all tied after one. Ready. Yellow lady, yellow lady. Ready. They run with Murray. They'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The Saints on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Here's Murray. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Tenth carry of the game now, Murray. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And down to the 29-yard line. That good for 22 and a first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Breeze leaves this one with Camaro. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Murray running right. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners' 19-yard line. The Saints on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Murray. Latavius Murray. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Latavius Murray. 
with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Saints have taken the lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's coming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Brings up second and two at the 33 yard line. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. On second down, a run with Breida. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. 11, 11. 21, 21. Here we go. Garoppolo looking to throw on third and two. Deep ball for Goodwin. That's caught at the 25. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. Garoppolo able to find Goodwin for a big one. 43 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Here's Burita. And an alley to run. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. They run with Burita. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Breida. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They run for it with Breida. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. Kyle Shanahan, an offensive mind, but his guy stopped up short. And the Saints will have the football back. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 14-yard line. Sets up a third and one. 
Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Ready? 95, 56, under. 55. Hey, easy. Switch, 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 switch. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they will bottle him up behind the line, and now will they use a timeout? The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. The 49ers have Richie James back deep. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Taking it about the 16. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. set to get this drive underway and with time quickly fading here in the second quarter not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this i think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot and this offense gonna elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. 11, 11, 11, 11. Garoppolo, a final shot here before half. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the oh, football. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. And a pass complete here to Sanders. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Eli Apple. There he goes, left side. And he'll score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Lutz will look to add the extra point. Hold it right. It's no good. So 
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. A handoff to Brita to begin the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. second down those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit felt like it was in the air for a while what it does is allows a defender to gain some ground come from a long distance and have a chance to affect the pass here we go they'll try again from the 36 on second and 10 to throw it's garoppolo blitz coming and down he goes Marcus Davenport, the first rounder out of UTSA with a sack. On third and long, it's Garoppolo. Complete to the running back, Matt Breda. And he'll be down deep into New Orleans territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 58 yards. 21, 21. On first down, here's Breida. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Here we go. 180! To throw on second and six. Garoppolo. That'll be complete to Breida. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown grab as his guys are back within a single score. Gold with the extra point, and the lead will shrink to six. So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Yeah, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. Ready. The Saints ready. offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was pump the football. Because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing, but control the game offensively. Put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Let's go. Bree's going to throw. And this is Cook with a grab. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Ready. Ready. 
Carries piling up. It's Murray again. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Six yards in the wrong direction that time. Not only that, but it brings up fourth. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. They do go for it. It's Breeze. Open man is Michael Thomas. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Ready. A couple of first downs have them to the 40 now on first and 10. This is Murray. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Latavius Murray, 60 yards. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. He's been having a great game, and that one right there, his best run so far, and it ends with six points. And not only that, in his mind, what is he thinking? Can I get to 200 yards as well? Because he knows he's closing in on it. He may not know the exact number, but the best runners have a feel of what the yardage is that they're compiling, and he knows that he's getting close to that 200-yard mark now. Ready. Now Sean Payton going to say, let's go for two on this one. They'll try to run with Murray. And he is into the end zone again. So get him some oxygen. He scores on the long run and then punches in the two-point conversion for good measure. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Big Sheldon Rankin's there to bring him down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The intended receiver, Marquise Goodwin. And now it's third down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. On third down, a run from Breida. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Well, if these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. 
They do go for it. It's Garoppolo. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Demario Davis coming in for the sack that time. But down two scores, I guess they felt like they needed to go for it. They must have thought they had a play to dial up that they could get it. Eh, well, it didn't work out. Had, they must have thought, as you pointed out, they had a play. And they were probably looking at the number of possessions that they thought were left in the game. And down two scores, they must have thought they couldn't risk not taking a shot here and giving up that chance. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game, and with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. First and goal. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now they'll run, Murray, and he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. A three-yard touchdown run, and the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Here we go, here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Garoppolo looks to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 for the Niners there to first down. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage, and that is a tough one to cover. The angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first, and that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. And he'll be down deep into New Orleans territory. A big play there for the Niners. 51 yards. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Yeah. 
tackle on first down. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. A.J. Klein, the blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. Throwing on second and long. Garoppolo. Yeah, he's got it. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers make some inroads here on that deficit. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Saints' hands team able to rein this one in. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. A throw on the quick slant, going to be complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football and be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Give him 18 there, and the Saints have a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Murray has the first down and more. And did he get in? No. Down at the one-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll run it with Kamara. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that rush coming, and he's taken down. Demario Davis picks up his second sack of the afternoon. 21, 21. Here we go. After the sack on first down, Garoppolo, and he's going to go down again. The sack coming from defensive end Cameron Jordan. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. 
Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. And he's going to be taken down. Sacked back at the two. A.J. Klein able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. And he'll just punch it out of there, and it's not a great kick. This is Harris. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And this offense set up with a very short field. First and 10 inside the 20. A gain of three, second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. I'm going to come back to you. Good, good, good. That's four, ready. They go with Murray again. Murray has the first down and more. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And this is the kind of day of running back dreams of. They keep handing him the ball, and he keeps taking it in for touchdowns. Lutz will look to add the extra point. And it's no good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. This one travels out of bounds, so unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 45. Garoppolo after the fake give to Brita. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. A.J. Klein able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. Cameron Jordan picks up his second sack of the afternoon. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. It's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. Now Garoppolo. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Throwing now is Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. will get the football back. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. 
they will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points, allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Santa Clara.